Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show and discuss how we integrate our automation test with test rail. Okay, so what is the integration? Basically, when we run our automation test, it will automatically publish the execution report in the test rail. Okay, so now let's see how we do that. So first of all, let's create two test in the test rail so we have already know how we create the test uh, test so one test i am creating google search search text google okay so folder we can search here select here suppose that login and i'm not going to fill other information just adding it to test the one is added and the login Facebook login Facebook application okay so click on add button so two tests added and uh, if I go here both tests you can see search text on Google and uh, uh, login into the Facebook application. So these ID is very important for the automation C2516 C2517. So these two ID we need. Okay, so now let's move our automation uh, test right what we need and what we need to install. Okay, so integration of the uh, Selenium uh, test with the test rail is a very easy, right? So first of all, you need to uh, go and uh, install the pip uh, install pytest uh, test rail. Install this module. Copy this. Go to your uh, PyCharm terminal, and then here enter pip install pytest test rail. Click. You will see successfully install the pytest rail. So once the pytest uh, rail install the in your uh, project the next step you need to create a file that is conf configuration file uh, this is setting files and this file name you can put anything but that cfg file so let me create a one file mm, so this is file test rail dot confile here we need to put this information so url email address password and then uh, here we need to pass the user assign id project id and suite id okay so let so in suite id and you we need to pass here plan id okay let's see what is the url what is the email id what is the password so if i go here so you will see this is the url right so copy this url paste here we need to put username and uh, password here okay okay so let me show you the password and username so username and password is same basically uh, this when you sign up at that time you receive one mail when your account is ready there is a password as well as use email id email id is same but you enter during the sign up okay but password is auto generated which is sent by the test rail so let's copy and paste these two passwords okay password is added email id is added now let's see how we uh, what is the user id project id and plan id so go to your test rail, open the project, like I'm going to open the test project. On the top, you can see the ID, right? This is the ID 2. It means this project has an ID 2. So let's change this as a project ID 2. So this is already updated here too. Next is the assigned user. So if I go into the user, my user, user and roles, there is one user right if i click here you will see the id of the user also so copy this id paste in your uh, 
project okay so go to back in your project i click on project go to the test result and run okay if one plan is already available right so if we want to new plan right to execute our automation test under new plan so add new plan so i'm going to show you from this so this is the test run second one is the test plan create a test plan test plan selenium i'm giving this name milestone release one okay add a plan plan is added now we need to add here a test I click on edit add a test run and then we need to select the test case so which test we want to execute like these two we want okay and save the plan okay so one test run is created there are two tests is added right now my test plan as well as the test run is ready okay let's see what is the test plan id so if i open test plan you will see here 30 so 30 is my test plan id copy this 30 go back your project and paste test plan id 30 okay so now our, our configuration is ready so next step uh, we need to mark our test we want to map our test with the test rail id right one to one mapping we can also do one to so next step we can add we can map our automation test with the test rail id so let's see how we do that if you go here you will see one test rail annotation there is one test case annotation test rail dot case and test rail both will work so first of all we need to import the test rail class go to here import this is imported okay so next we need to use the pytest rail case so let me use this pytest rail dot case paste here imported here pytest rail Py, uh, pytest rail okay and you can see here we can pass the two id basically these two id is the test case id so one automation test case we can map with multiple uh, test rail ids right but as of now i am going to map with one so let's add id go to your test case open the test case and see the id this id mapped here similar type this is second map this one so facebook one 2517 2517 is for facebook and uh, 2516 is for the uh, google search so now our uh, pytest map our test script mapped with the test rail id okay now if i run the test it will automatically publish the result into the test rail so let's see how we do that okay so now let's run our automation test and you will see the report will publish or not okay so wh what we need to do so we need to here run the uh, command pytest test rail and then pass your file config file so copy this go to here paste and then we need to pass so then we need to pass equal con file name so con file name this is the test rail dot cfd file and enter so you can see here one message right uh, fail to retrieve test plan the api is disabled for your installation it may be okay let's see what is the message uh, it can be enabled in the administrator area in the test rail under administrator site api so first of all we need to um, uh, like uh, enable the apis in from the test rail side let's see how we do that 
Okay, so first of all, go to the administrator uh, menu from the right side on the top. Click on this. You will see uh, there are some options like site setting, manage site setting. Click on the manage site setting. And in the site setting tab, there is an API. Under API, there is a two checkboxes enable APIs, enable session authentication for API. So we can select this, right, and click on save button. So now this is enabled. So go back and run the automation test. Both tests run successfully and uh, you can see it's published the test case. Test run update 35, 31. So let's see the result. Go to the project. Open the test plan. Go to the test run and test, uh, test result. Open the test uh, plan for Selenium. And you can see here both tests run successfully, right? Passed. So this is the text, parameterized text we can see here automatically published. Let me run test again and this time I will mark the one test fail. Let's see how it will looks like when your test is failed. So search expected title value I am going to change. So this is not test, this is a testing one. So in this case, first test will fail. And let's see how the reports looks like in the test fail. Running the test. Failed. One fail and one pass, right? Let's see the report. Refresh the plan. You can see one fail, one pass. If I expand this fail one, you can see the exception is also injected here. The error is injected along with the test parameterization. Old result is also available here. Okay, first time this is passed, now it is failed. So in this way, we can integrate our automation test, PyTest, Selenium PyTest with the test rate. You can see here the report is automatically published here. No need to you do anything right don't need no don't no need to write a much code for integration already plugin is available if you want to write our own code right don't want to use this pytest rail plugin then in that case we can write code by using the py by using the test rail api and we can achieve also this right but this is very easy right easily we can integrate the uh, test rail with our automation test script. So second things, this is the here provided by uh, the in config file. Similar way, we can also pass the uh, command line for argument, test config file, that is test URL, test email, test password, right? All those details we can also pass from the command line and it will publish the reports in corresponding of test cases, okay? Hope this will be helpful, like how we integrate our automation test with the test rail. And if you see any question, any issue, leave a comment. Okay. And also if like the channel, uh, if you like the tutorial, please subscribe the channel, click on the bell icon and also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching the video.